Eric Almirola said post-race he wasn't going to take a cussing from Bubba Wallace after Almirola sho shoved Bubba during one of the red flag breaks at the Coke 600. It was funny because I, I didn't even know about it until probably we were getting ready to go back green. I didn't know about it either. Um, and somebody had said something to me about it, and I said, well, if I had to guess, and listen, Eric talking, like I saw one of Eric's interviews was like, you know, he raced me dirty and I was giving him room. That never happens. These, I don't, these guys don't like each other. I don't know what the history is there. <laughs> they don't like each other. They race each other like idiots all the time. Like, we don't ever cut him a break. He never cuts us a break. It, it just not, so him saying he gave us room is not true. He drove into the back of it. He drove into the side of us going into three at one point. Like, okay. And I'm sure that's probably what. But I knew when I saw them mad and I saw the video, I told, I forget if it was Timmy Fidua or Nick Payne maybe was standing there. I said, I bet you. Because we raced hard for like three or four laps, and it was just kind of crossover move and get you know side draft whatever. And I said, I bet you when we got we got the better end of it, we got a big run off of two and cleared him down the back stretch. And I guarantee you, this is when probably into turn three, Bubba just I said I guarantee Bubba flipped him off. Then Eric was obviously mad about that, and then we got out. And right before that red flag, we had just come to pit road on a green flag stops. And we had an uncontrolled tire roll into the 48th box. So we had to come back, serve a drive through, lose a lap. So now I know this is like the third or fourth instance we've had on pit road this race. Not any excuse, but I know getting out of the car, Bubba is irate because we just potentially threw our race away because now we're a lap down. We're 26. We've been top 12, top 10 all night. So now I know he's irate. So the second that I see Eric say something to him, I, I was like, oh, I guarantee our Eric said something. Bubba said off essentially like because i know he's irate and eric, eric shoved him so i was just but i i knew in the moment i knew exactly what happened right there <laughs> without just, without and then finally i asked joel what, like later on <laughs> between the two races i said do you ever hear what happened he said yeah you flipped us off i said yeah that makes sense i just blame you you're the that's fine i mean run into me at fontana last year the <laughs> the all-star race you try you missed the bottom and one just run us up the hill there then it, we're running charlotte first two times Bubba the all-star you pushed me around a racetrack for three laps before you can finally you get around to the fifth groove in the third <laughs> lap of the race then at charlotte we're running here everyone gets to the bottom of three and four just grabs the paint on there and holds it till late now nah, here comes the 23 right up the racetrack into the i'm like he's coming up to you clear uh, get ready <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. It's uh, Freddie's fault. No practice, no qualifying. 600-mile race. And, and I'm race. telling you, all the racing yesterday, if you're a race fan, you can appreciate the art that went into those races and the art that it takes from those race car drivers because, man, they were making some awesome moves in both races yesterday. Mm -hmm. Bubba was doing you, one hand, you, apparently. You, you can't. You can't. <laughs> yeah, with one hand out the window. Uh, I, I used to love a Michael Waltrip race because Michael Waltrip is about six foot five. And his arms are about six foot five long, <laughs> and when he would flip people off down the front stretch, his, they, you, their, his arm be in their window. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you would see his armpit <laughs> hanging out the window. Um, I miss that, Michael. Uh, I, that was a good old days. And these guys, like I like I said, I don't think these two like each other at all. But like, if you see like Bubba and Corey or Bubba and Blaney. And I think, like, back in the day, uh, Elliot and Dale used to do this, like, the shocker yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. like th these guys make hand gestures to each other every time they pass each other. But uh, this was not a friendly one, I don't this, think. What ha this is real-life road rage, people. Like, you're driving down the road, and somebody flips you off, and you get mad, and you get out of the next stoplight, and you go punch <laughs> him in his window. Like, that's that's what's I'm happening here. I wish mean, these guys had, guys had like, tractor-trailer horns. But, <laughs> whoa, whoa, <laughs> the, big whoa. the biggest thing I learned the last two weeks, I'm going to have to take this some fingers together or something. We, we've got an issue. <laughs>